Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quickums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Might and Magic Heroes 7. We're on episode 16, and I've decided that I'm giving you one extra go at it, guys. Uh, Vermintide was actually shut down by the time I decided to start up my stream. So, it was a little bit of a shorter stream, and therefore, I have a little bit more time to record. So, we're going to get one more episode banged out and knocked in, or whatever it is that we're going to do, and it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. Alright, so we got to figure out what it exactly it is that we should be doing here. Hammerfall and Blackforge both seem to be pretty amazing. The Orc Settlement, a little less so. Hmm. There seems to be a Spirit Gate. Exit of a distant magical one-way gate. Alright, so we can get to the Orc Lands rather rapidly, but do we want to? Alright, well this is the first time we really get to start in an area where we have towns and we can just start building stuff up right away. Like the traditional, what you would expect, you know? What you would expect. Alright, let's go take a peek at his, uh, well I guess it's kind of here. We have some Centaur Marauders down here. We have a Crusher, we have some ven ven uh, Venomous Wyverns, uh, Basilisk Riders, some Knoll Hunters, and Furies, which I assume are upgraded Harpies? Something along those lines. Let's see what kind of basic structures we have. Ooh, we have some unit producing structures already, which I'm a pretty big fan of. And it looks like we even have upgraded unit producing structures already done as well. The Wyvern Rock is there, and a Basilisk Cavern is as well. But it appears that we don't have a Cyclops Mound yet. And I don't know that we can get it. Oh, maybe, oh here we go. We have to choose the Cyclops or the Behemoth. Those are our choices. Okay, intriguing. The Dream Lodge. Warfare Unit Production provides the option to buy Dream Walkers. Alright guys, so this is kind of cool because I'm going to actually jump into the Orc campaign when we finish up this whole scenario. And we're going to get a little bit of a sneak peek or a taste of the Orcs before we do that. So this, should, this plays together well. I like this. I like how this all ended up working out. Alright, we have a Centaur Lodge that has been built. Hmm. A Centaur. What do we have? We have Centaur Marauders? Yeah, we do. We have the upgraded Centaurs. And we also have the upgraded uh, War Pavilion. I don't know, guys. This is a tough one. Do we want to get the Wyvern Rock? Do we want to do something else? I'm not sure. It's a tough call to make right now. So what I think I'm going to lean toward doing is nothing with him right now. We're going to go check out some of the other towns. Let's go take a look at Hammerfall and see what we have available there. Do we have the Tier of Asha still installed? I hope we do. Oh, we don't. Why? We just did all that work and it's gone. Come on. That's not nice. That is not nice. Alright, uh, we only have 10,000 monies. Hmm. It's going to be an interesting turn of events here. Um, it's a tough call. I, I always have a hard time when I have multiple cities to start with where I should be going, what I should be doing. Same thing here with Black Forge. It looks pretty much identical. Alright, so I guess my, my, immediate, my immediate plan is going to be as follows. We're going to... You have to give me a minute, guys. I gotta figure out what I need to do. I need to be able to get a little bit more gold, and I don't see that happening right away. Alright, we are going to throw her as the governess. The governess. Hammerfall Emeril is there. Alright, so she is the governor. And we're gonna have her grab up the queen scale. And we're going to also grab the ore pit. And I was going to hope that we can... Oh, we can also make it over here and grab this as well. Nice. Well done. Well done. Grab that, a little bit of gold. Grab some more resources, and that's about all she can do right now. I don't think we can search up any higher this way. I think this is all tapped out for us. And then we still have our gal pal here. Who looks like she can get into a couple of fights right now, but... What kind of army does she have? Seems like a fairly decent one. Yeah, she's got a pretty decent army. Alright, I guess we'll roll out with that and see what we can do. I guess we'll get into a fight or two here. 
grab ourselves an alchemist lab and some other various things. And see if we can't get something going on. Sorry guys, there's a lot of choices to make. I mean, do we start immediately by securing the city hall upgrades, which will give us more gold? But it's going to cost us 10,000 to do a double. But then we'll get an additional 1,000 gold or 2,000 gold from, I think, an additional 1,000. So, it's, it's a tough call, guys. It really is. I mean, unit production buildings are always nice, but if you have too many units being produced and not enough capital... It can go to waste, we can run into another week of the plague, and we know how detrimental that is. I mean, we saw it firsthand in the last uh, mission. I don't know, it's a tough call, guys, it really is. So I really don't like starting with multiple towns, because I'm always kind of at a little bit of a loss as to what to do. We're going to spend a lot of time waiting this time around, until they come closer to us. I'm not sure what her stats or skills are. She's a priest, so she has a lot more magic power. Alright. That's good to know. Let's hope she has some decent spells to throw around. Alright, we have time stasis. The target creature cannot act and is treated as if not present. But the time stasis can be dispelled. Uh, we can teleport our units. We can use implosion. Fortunately, we can summon some elementals or use time control, which is a haste. Hmm. Well... Implosion's really, really, really... I mean, all these things are super expensive. I mean, my goodness. We have 80 out of 100 mana. We have no direct damage spells either. Increase the luck of all heroes in the target area. Yeah, we could try that. Can we cast only on our people? Oh, good. We no longer have to worry about terrain being a problem. That is excellent. Actually, quite happy to see that. Alright, let's do some damage here. Very nicely done. And another little chunk of damage. Alright, I guess doing some work against you would be pretty good. Very good. And... Uh, I suppose the high luck against you is going to work out just fine. I'm going to go up against you head on, unfortunately. Not exactly the play you want to make, but... Eh, it worked. It was enough. We have the ability to flank you directly, but then we would be open to counterattack, so we're just going to go here from the side. A decent chunk of damage, and our secondary attack will kill you off, and there's the kill blow from our boys. And incapacitated if you weren't dead. So we'll take that, we'll take that. That is a net win overall, and we'll move here. Your move, stooge. Alright, we're going to attack. And we're going to wait it out. Just short. Isn't that shameful? Alright, a good attack and a follow-up high morale attack. Followed by a slightly less amazing attack. And an Archerian attack to weaken him even further. And now it's up to our boys here, and they said, you know what? We're gonna take it. There are brothers in arms, and they are now dead brothers in arms. Or dead brothers on the ground, I don't know. It didn't look like anyone was clutching anyone else. I, I can't say they were technically in arms. Alright, she's level 20. So, she's actually a pretty high level, which is pretty impressive. Let's snag that up, and it looks like there are some trivial archer-type people over there. That are guarding an ore pit. I really wanted to get some cash monies right now. I feel like this is little bit eh. What happens we're gonna go for it? Uh, they will join us for a ridiculously, tremendously huge amount of gold. Um, we're gonna attack. Why? Because we can. Let's just be real. We can attack them, we can kill them, we can probably do so without losing a tremendously huge amount as well. So we're gonna lean toward hopefully succeeding at that. That is our goal after all. Oh, we got very unlucky there. No high morale move. Alright, well, let's kill off 12 of them to start. Going to wait with you, going to, I guess, blast with you. Okay, we're going to go blast with you as well. Ooh, high luck. Very good damage, and we're going to go for that guy. And, again, decent, decent damage. Alright, going to attack our guardians down here. Ooh, high luck for them. 
We lost one. We should be able to resurrect. I assume we have light spells. Though I'm not 100% certain. There's no guarantee that we do. So there is that. Oh, that's right. We don't have light spells. Alright, well, never mind. I totally forgot that all we have are the prime. The prime spells. Well, we lost one guardian. Eh, it is what it is. Or just a car. Hi, morale. Do we get to move again? We do not. Wow, we are just ridiculously unlucky. Alright, anything? Well, now we can move again. But do we even want to at this point? Attack! Just going to kill off the 11, and then everybody can focus their fire up on the, the top guy over there. And ooh, down he goes. Alright, and there we have it. Alright, well, we did that. We can take over the ore mine. I guess we'll snatch up the stuff. And is that gold? I think it is. Let's hope we can grab it. We can! It's 800. It's not as much as I was hoping for, but it'll work for now. Alright, let's see. What can we do with our orc compatriot here? It looks like there are folks over there that we can go and do battle with and get ourselves a little bit more movement out of the whole map because there's a stables! Yay for stables! The stables are real! They are here! They are now! We have a lot of uh, double-pronged uh, individuals here. Hmm. Alright, we'll stick the gnolls over there. We'll move you over here. It's gonna be a little bit rough. We're gonna have to move these guys around. Alright, I'm not sure what any of these guys do yet. I haven't actually played with the, uh, I've actually played with any of the orc units, so I'm, this is going to be completely new to me, guys. I'm looking forward to it, but it's going to be totally new. So let's actually do a quick rundown of what the different characters or heroes have here. Alright, resistant to earth, so damage from earth spells and effects are halved, okay. And, uh, earth damage, sorry, earth damage from enemies' attacks are decreased by 25%. Interesting. Regeneration. It regenerates 20 health at the end of its turn. Not bad. Considering it's got 45 health, it gets about half of them back. And Acid Spit. Hit creatures receive half of the first hit's damage in the next turn, and 25% of the damage the turn after. Okay. Not too bad, and it's an elite character. It's not super strong, but it's decent. And then the gnolls are really, really weak. Opportunity attack provided the creature is not in, the, not in melee, he gets a free immediate shot with half damage at the enemy creatures which are attacked in melee. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, we have Furies, which I believe are increased, uh, or like upgraded harpies. No retaliatory strikes and strike and return. Okay. And then we have elite creatures, the stronghold. Uh, let's see here. Mobile shooter. The creature can either move and then shoot or shoot and then move. Awesome. And maneuver, when the creature is about to retaliate on a melee attack, it moves away from the attacker first, and then it retaliates with a ranged attack. That is sexy. That is sexy. Alright, and then we have the Crusher here. Demonic lineage, resistant to fire. Damage from fire spells and effects is halved. Fire damage from the enemy attacks is decreased by 25%. However, it is vulnerable to light. 25% more damage to light. Additionally, unfettered, it's immune to all kinds of movement reduction. Nice. And finally, the Basilisk Rider. Uh, critical hit, creatures become incapacitated until the next turn. So basically they get petrified or turned to stone, as is the the call there. They look pretty cool. I like uh, all the graphics for these guys. They're well animated, everything. This is pretty nice. I'm looking forward to playing as the orcs. I like the centaurs too. They look pretty cool. They were always kind of cool in like the later HOM games. I was saying, uh, Heroes of Might Magic 3, they're kind of meh. And I think the previous games, they weren't all that great either. Alright, these are all melee guys, and I believe he's probably a boss when it comes to attack, yeah. 21, look at all this stuff he's got. Fiery Rage, I'm not going to read all this stuff, but he is pretty angry. He's a, well, it sounds like he's got a lot of hatred and a lot of things he's got to work out. Alright, so we don't have a lot of mana or a lot of spells. Holy crap, we do 40... We can kill 40 of these guys in one attack? Absolutely. I'm gonna wait it out. 
Let them close the... Oh, and it looks like we have the full attack. Holy God in heaven. This is amazing. I am loving these guys. Look at that. Almost totally killed. And we can move afterward if we wanted. Or we can cancel it. We can end the turn right there. Oh, then we get to go again. What is this? This is so good. Oh, the orcs are going to be just absolutely boss, guys. I am so looking forward to it. Like, they might even be cooler than the guys that we're playing right now. Well, the Haven are pretty normal. They're like stock standard, right? They're the human class. I, I gotta say, most people are probably not the biggest fans of the humans, just because they're so, I say quote-unquote generic, but, you know, it is what it is. You gotta have the human classes, guys. Oh, we can just wreck these guys, too. All right, let's do it. All right. And they, okay, so they got hurt, and then they got hurt again. Oh, that's right, because he's an opportunist attacker. He threw an attack out. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love how these guys work. I thought the gnolls were pretty crappy, but that's because they weren't coupled with anyone. This is nice. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing the orcs. All right. There we go. We'll close off our first battle as the orcs. This is still the Haven campaign, guys. I'm just starting to learn how the orcs work, and I like what I see so far. A lot. I really like what I see a lot. All right, a little bit more gold there. Oh, there's some gold to be had here, but we don't have the movement for it. All right, let's see if we have enough gold to actually do what I want to do. My whole plan, my whole goal here is when you build the city hall, you're going to get an additional thousand gold per day. It's going to take us five turns to recover that money. But after that, it's just going to build and build and build. So it's really good to get these early on. Additionally... We can do that with the other town as well. And then finally, we're going to have to get this. This is 10,000 to do that. And again, it provides an additional 2,000 gold per day. And it will take five turns to recover from that. But if you can get both of those things up and running, it's going to be really nice. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to go with the city hall. Then I'm going to hop on over to Black Forge, I think it is. I'm going to do the city hall again. And now we're down to 1550 on the cash monies. Let's see if we have enough to do anything on the orc settlement. And we do. And that's what I was looking for. I really, really, really was hoping that I'd actually be able to do something at the Orc Settlement. I can, and now I'm pretty stoked and pretty happy about this. I have no idea what to do yet. Visiting heroes. Heroes creatures benefit plus, from plus one movement and plus five attack during the next three combats. That sounds pretty sexy. Uh, we can get more Orcs, or we can upgrade our Orcs. Or we can come over here and do the Harpy Colony or the Null Fire Camp. Or we can do fortifications. Sounds like all the music... There it is! I'll just say, it sounds like all the music stopped. I feel self-conscious all of a sudden. Talking about all this stuff and trying to figure out what I want to do. Alright, I think what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the, the orcs. That's going to be the play. We're going to build that up, and bam! So we've actually been able to build something in all three cities. We have the new psycho-angry, super-powerful orcs ready to go, and... Look at that, there's the orc city in the background, guys. It is quite beautiful, quite lovely. And I love that all these buildings are interactable, so you can actually go to each of these buildings and get stuff, as opposed to using this down here if you wanted to. You can enlist new heroes on this campaign, too. Nice! So this is something that has been held from us so far. And you can actually hire new heroes to run around, do ferrying trips, or gather up resources, or whatever the case is, to get troops out to you a little bit quicker. Additionally, I want to say that if we have the path that's not blocked... We can actually get our troops down to these other places pretty easily. I'm like I'm liking this, guys. They did a phenomenal job of this game. Again, I don't understand where all the negative comments and, and the negative reviews are coming from, but hey, whatever. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to mention it again. A week of deadly calm. A week when nothing really happens. All right. We'll enter our first turn there. I know that was a very, very long turn, guys. It was about 20, 20 minutes of me not doing anything, so I do apologize. There was a lot of decisions to be made, and we have multiple heroes to move around and things to just accomplish. So this is going to go a bit slower, guys. I assume this is going to take quite a bit longer than the last couple of missions that we did. But we're going to go immediately over here and try and take down this and get ourselves a gold mine. I think this battle, this particular campaign and scenario is going to be won through the majesty of money. That's right. We're going to have to win this on the uh, financial front. Otherwise, we're probably going to get wrecked, so... There is that. We have a bunch of earth golems or elementals ready to do murderous things to us, but meh. What do we care? We're going to go and crush him with our hero because he's just a ball. Oh, he doesn't actually do that much damage. 
against these guys. All right, so be it. We'll do a little bit, and we'll wait our turn. Come on down. Let's see what you got. All right, they got a pretty menacing-looking lineup is what they've got. All right, not super fond of the Basilisk move, and we have to move him right away, too. How much health do you have, buddy? Oh, 123. Okay, you can probably sustain some damage here. Let's go for it. Okay, and you saw the little chuck of the knife over there, which is pretty sexy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it right now. I was a pretty big fan of that. We're gonna move over here and try a little bit of melee from our orc friend. Not enough. Oh, but the throw it still wasn't enough with the throw. All right, we can still not quite kill that guy, huh? All right, well we're gonna we're gonna try to do a bit more damage to this one going to attack him and then probably move away I'll probably move down here and then we're going to do hmm I think just a flat-out attack on this guy Rawr. all right cool cool and now we're gonna have to do a bit more damage so we're gonna throw that out there I actually think we can probably fall back. And this will still work out to our advantage, honestly. If we're a little bit cautious, I think I'm gonna just cancel this. Is there a way to do that? Can I press E? Or D? Or spacebar? No. Alright, I have to literally click the X. It's totally fine. He is safe up in his little corner there. We're gonna do a little bit of attacking there. We're gonna have our orcs fall back to here, which will be safe. And then our basilisk riders are actually in a little bit of a pickle because they cannot escape. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. All right, so there is some misplaying going on there. Should have had the harpies move maybe further over here and then the orcs could move one further. Ah, uh, darn it. You knew there was going to be a misplay at some point, guys. So, let's see if we can defend. Maybe we can tank it up. I don't know, there's going to be six. Alright, we lost one. We'll try not to make a mistake like that again. I do apologize, folks. That was unacceptable of me to do that. We're going to attack and retreat. Attack and return! I love the little dagger throw that comes out with them. It's so good. All right, and there our centaur goes with a shot. Gonna move up here, and we're going to kill off you. And it looks like our orc gets to go for the kill. We don't have a heal or anything of that nature, no. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, the orc gets to go for the kill, and bam, there it is. Murder, death, killing. We lost one of our basilisk riders because I did something stupid. It's fine. The game does punish you when you do dumb moves, so there you have it. That should have been flawless. Shame on me. Oh well. I've moved past it. It's fine. We're going to gather up some more gold, which is exactly what we're going to need. And... I'm thinking maybe we attack that, grab that, and then go over there and take that. Or do we go after the Seraphim? I don't think that's a good idea. I think we're going to come down here and try to take on the wolf, gather up some more random gold laying around. We always want to tag up the mines as quickly as possible. I should have probably done that before I went over here, but eh. I got greedy, guys. I got greedy. I know. I know. You're shocked, to be sure. But it's fine. All right. What we're going to do now is grab a city hall with him. And then we're going to go to some of our other characters and hope that they can gather up some more gold for us. Alright, the gold does not look like it is flowing for us, at least not yet, but we're going to come over here and see what we can find. Start combat, but there is some stuff to be had around this area, so we'll take it. And hopefully we can get through at least two turns before the end of uh, the episode. I apologize, guys, but these are going to be some longer turns. There's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of ground to cover, and a lot of decisions and choices to make. So, just bear that in mind, and I think you'll be alright. Okay, so first up, we are going to blast 12 damage upon you. I'm going to move you over here. 
Going to wait with you, going to wait with you, going to blast you. With a decent amount of damage. I mean, not tremendously huge, but a decent amount. A little bit more there. There's a pretty good attack. And we can go for the 13 to 19 with a high luck and maybe enough. Not bad. Not too bad. Here comes the archer shots. They look like they're going to focus on our legionnaire. I'm okay-ish with that. That's not ideal. Obviously, you don't want to lose anyone if you can help it, but... Eh. I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Alright, I'm going to move here. And I'm going to get my guardian, or my Justicars, to come down there. I'm going to come over here and murder you straight up. Goodbye. And we don't get to move again. That's okay. I'm going to kill off 12 with you. And then the additional 10. And now we're going to probably end up defending and just going for the long range kill with our habits. Victory is pretty easy there, but again, we lost one troop. It is what it is. Okay, we'll take it and we will move on. Alright, we will gather up the wood. We will tag the actual lumber yard. We will grab this. And we will come down over here to get some more gold. There does seem to be gold all over the place here. And it looks like we're almost meeting up with our other compatriots, which is pretty cool. Alright, and again, we're going to have another ranged combat here. I'm kind of leaning toward maybe using some magic here. I think that that might be the play. We have teleport, and I think I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to use it this time, guys and gals. Alright, I'm going to teleport you over to here. This is what I'm going to do. Alright, the time jump is real, and we are going to attempt to get a kill here on all of you. Not quite enough, but the follow-up attack was enough. Alright, we're going to move forward, and we're going to defend. Our abbots are going to once again try to do some work here. Oh, with the high luck, that is a lot of work they just did. But unfortunately, there's no follow-up attack, and now we have to hope that we can do enough with you to make it worth our while. Okay, we just got shot at point blank. Just about. And I think we'll survive the next shot, too. Eh. It is what it is. Alright, we're going to go for the far distance one. Kill him off. Goodbye. Goodbye. And with that teleportation, we actually did pretty good there. Alright, and victory is ours. He's got the ability to spin his staff while he's like throwing his arms out going, What's up? He's just shrugging, giving that question mark, you know? Like, was that even a fight? I didn't even break a sweat. You shot me with an arrow? Did nothing. I scoff at you and your pathetic powers. Alright, well we shall grab up some wood. Oh, we can get a little bit more gold, too. Again, exploratory measures. We do own the sawmill now. There's a den of thieves. Immediately reveals a piece of information for a fee once a week. Eh. Not super concerned with that, to be honest. But we're kind of understanding our, our current situation here. With everything going the way it is. Oh, our local garrison has actually been populated. Nice. And all we have to do is survive, it looks like. Alright, and she's still got movement. She can still do stuff. This is craziness. Spend resources to get a full level up. I don't know if I care for that so much as... I don't think going after the uh, Star Silver and... Well, we can probably kill these Seraphim if we can get close enough. We can't quite, though. Alright, and our lady is here and ready to go. She gathered up all the resources. There doesn't appear to be any way to go that way. And I think I'm going to probably keep her here and send him out. I know this is probably a mistake. I feel like I keep doing this. Thomas is the highest level. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, guys. I know. I know. It's probably not the best play, but it is simply what it is. It is simply what it is, and it's what I'm going to be doing. So, deal with it, I guess. Do that. We'll be there. Just swap you. Gosh, this is so bad. There we go. Something like that. 
group you two up, and bam, we'll get the abbots to join the other abbots. And bam, there it is. Alright, before we leave, we want to get Catapult and the Healing Sisters. That is the play. It's also kind of creepy that they're so similar looking. We have the Morning Light. Interesting. Interesting. Emeril's a magic sword that was forged by her own father, Ryan Redshield, who was a master bloodsmith. It is a weapon of both attack and defense, fit for a mighty warrior. Alright, cool. So we'll move her somewhere eventually. I'm going to probably have her go gra grab all the extra resources there. Thomas has learned some new spells. What did he learn? Blizzard and Fortune. Excellent. And interesting. Alright, we're here now. We have built one building. We have 2,900 gold. And it looks like we probably can afford all of the siege equipment. It does appear that we can. We'll buy it and buy it. And we have 1,400 left. Can we afford anything? It looks like indeed we can. And I would say that I'm just going to do this one. That's going to be the play, and I don't think we're going to recruit any additional troops. We don't have that many to recruit anyway. If we had the 3654, I don't think we can recruit all of them, can we? No, 6. That's fine. There we go. So it looks like one of our one of our towns is going to get nothing this time, but that's okay. I've accepted it, and I've moved on. Alright, we're going to have Emeril go over here and grab up the artifact, bring it back to our boy. We'll deliver it by hand to the orc. The orc will be like, Oh my god, it's so powerful, thank you, I love you. Additionally, since we're not using her as a combatant right now, I think that I can probably get rid of the armor and give it back to our gal pal Ella over there. So, let's do that. We'll move here. We'll have her, once again, shake hands. We're going to give this up, and it's said that this is going to be more fitting for Emeril. But we're not fighting with her, so meh. I say meh. Alright, we're going to leave this place. Both of these are under my purview now. Yep. And how do we get out of here? We can go one of two ways. I think I'm going to go this way. I want to see a bit more exploratory things. Alright, looks like there is a fight to be had over here. And I am all for it. Let's start the combat. Alright guys and gals, when this turn is over, we'll break off the episode. I do apologize again. This is probably going to take quite a bit longer. This might be longer than everything else that we've done up till this point, but we'll see. We'll see if that's the case or not. We shall see. Alright, well, I don't really care so much about our wolves, because we always can just charge out, so it's not that big of a deal. We're up against all melee? Oh, please, this is going to be cake. Alright. And it looks like our... Uh, ooh, that did some damage. Oh, I like that. We're going to actually kill these guys outright. This is so good. This is enjoyable. I feel like I've earned the right to be able to do this to enemies right now. Are the healing sisters? Meh. Nobody cares. They can't do anything in there. Um, sure. Let's just go kill them. Why prolong this any longer than we have to? High morale? Yep. Thank you, sir. And victory. Oh, wow. We hit, like, the super bottom end of everything there. That was a bit ridiculous, but it doesn't matter. Bloop. And curse Splatchity. Down you go. Victory is ours. The cheering begins. The chanting. We're, we're, we're going to hear in the background, Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Or Thomas Wolf, Thomas Wolf. It's, it's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, wait. With a little bit of a, an addition of gold there, maybe... Maybe we can do a little something something. Oh, it, uh, Sorry guys, I'm making all sorts of little mistakes. I totally missed that. Like, I saw the chest originally, and then I totally forgot that I didn't grab it because I grabbed the gold, and I got all excited. I'm like, more gold, yes! And then I realized, uh-oh, I left stuff behind, like a fool. All right, so I think next turn I'm going to try. I don't think we'll be there yet. Maybe the turn after. I'm going to try to save up enough to get the capital going. That way we get as much money as we possibly can week by week. And then we'll play it from there. Alright, they have Justicars and or Guardians opposing us here. We're gonna allow our Ballistae to do Ballistae things. And we're just gonna spam our weight command until everybody's moved. And short of them having high morale, we shouldn't have anything to worry about. 
All right, you're dead. I told you you were dead. You should have just accepted it and moved on. You're dead. And I'm pretty sure that you're not alive anymore either. It's like, why bother? Just throw yourself at my mercy. Maybe, maybe I'll recruit you. Don't ask for money. Just, you know, be a part of the army for the good of the entire kingdom. That's, that's all you should be doing. You shouldn't be like, what can I get out of this? Because chances are you're just going to get killed. That's what you're going to get out of it. All right, looks like Black Forge might actually be able to build a building. Who knew that would be a thing? All right, I think I'm going to go with the Beast Lair for them. And there we go. All right, we're a little brokish, but not horribly so. And we're going to throw her back into the town, I guess. Um, Do I need to do that? Probably. You know what I could probably do instead? Let's have her follow around and gather up all the resources. For now. Eventually we'll come back and get like stuff like she can come over here and grab this. I mean, there's a few things she can do. There's a few things to do. Anyway, guys and gals, I'm going to end this particular turn. We're gonna see if anything happens from the Holy Empire. And if it doesn't, fantastic. If it does, we'll deal with it. And I'm going to probably break off the episode when it's our turn again. And by probably I mean definitely, and we're waiting for the turn. They seem to be doing a lot, but obviously this is kind of a big map, so if the computer takes a while, the AI takes a while to do stuff, you can imagine why it's taking me quite as long as it has, right? See? See? Even the computer has to think about this stuff. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the one extra episode thrown together for Thursday night, which is probably going to show up like Friday morning, whatever. There should be much more hum tomorrow on Friday. And then again, Saturday and Sunday and on Monday and all throughout next week, guys, I'm going to try to put a little bit of a heavier focus on first look videos because they're starting to pile up. Not the videos themselves, but the games that need the first look videos. So I'm going to try to put a little heavier focus on that. There still will be Hom and there'll be a lot of other stuff as well. So there's no Battle Brothers tomorrow, guys. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. I will see you next time with more Might Magic Hero 7. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>